In a hospital in Ghana, a life-saving operation is being carried out. It's thanks to a company from Britain that this child is having what will turn out to be successful surgery. That company is called Diamedica UK Limited. And here at our factory in Devon, we build anaesthetic equipment for difficult locations and emergency situations. The machines are specially designed to continue working even if electricity and oxygen supplies fail. In the majority of these countries, anaesthetics is very, very difficult because of the conditions they're working under. It'll work in any condition um, that uh, we'll find, whether it's an environmental condition or um, where there are limited supplies or no supplies of compressed gases or electricity. And Neith just told me that it's a, an absolute lifesaver. Diamedica's machines are used all over the world in remote and harsh environments, where more expensive and sophisticated equipment would be useless. Around a million operations worldwide have so far been carried out using equipment provided by Diamedica. The Gloucester Vent machine being used in this operation in Rwanda requires minimal maintenance. It uses oxygen from the air, rather than from a metal cylinder, that may have had to be transported many miles to get here. It makes the Gloucester vent much safer and cheaper to run. Usually two litres The company of works closely here. with Dr Roger Eltringham, who has for many years trained anaesthetists to use the Gloucester vent both here in the UK and overseas. Most of the machines until now have been designed for different environments to where they're going to end up in. Nobody seems to have thought that these people don't have oxygen and they may not have electricity and they certainly don't have high-skilled engineers immediately available. This is our um, principal anaesthetic machine, the Gloucester Vent, um, that is currently working in over 45 countries. Um, we have a battery support on the back and uh, a voltage stabiliser for uh, the electrical conditions that we are likely to be operating in. We have an oxygen concentrator in the bottom that takes atmospheric air and gives us medical oxygen and medical air. Uh, we have a gas driven ventilator here for maintaining our patient's breathing during surgery and during recovery. And we have a vaporizer here that contains an inhalational agent to keep our patients asleep during surgery. The Gloucester vent has been thoroughly tested in hostile environments for the last 10 years and has performed successfully every time. Emergency caesareans are a common operation in many developing countries. The Gloucester vent is being used to make these operations much safer. It can also be used for long-term ventilation of patients in intensive care units. Thanks to the Gloucester Vent, many lives are being saved. I recently come back from Rwanda and in one of the hospitals there they have seven of our anaesthetic machines. Two were in the maternity department. Um, there is an hour counter on the machines and the machine had done over 9,000 hours over the last few years and the average caesarean section is uh, going to be uh, considerably less than an hour. So that's um, 9,000 caesarean sections um, that are vital to the mother and the babies involved. Diamedica also manufactures a portable anaesthetic machine that can be used in any field, outreach, remote location or war zone. It's a complete inhalation anaesthesia system in a robust case which can be carried as hand luggage on an aircraft. Diamedica's products are easy to use and simple to set up. All over the world lives are being saved and the jobs of hospital staff are being made easier thanks to our machines. I would certainly like to see the position where uh, everybody that needs a safe anaesthetic can have one. Um, but that's not going to happen for a very long time. Uh, the uh, need for this type of equipment in these locations is extremely high.
I do know we've only gone a fraction of what we can do. And, uh, you know, the, 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 it's been a privilege to work with engineers who feel the same way. You know, I, I think uh, our training in, in clinical medicine is, I mean, a lot of anaesthetists dabble in it, but to have an expert who understands the clinical problems has been a huge privilege.